I don't know what you're doing tomorrow. Me? I'm planning for Armageddon. That's what the state premier has told me I should do. Tomorrow is likely to be one of the worst days in the history of the state of Victoria. It's going to be mid 40 Celsius everywhere, which is like 110 Fahrenheit everywhere. And this is coming off last week. Anyone who's been watching my videos or following me on Twitter know I've been complaining nonstop about the heat wave last week, where there was a whole week for some people of 40 plus Celsius temperatures, which dried everything out. Thank God we got a cool change. But now tomorrow is going to be one sharp day and everything has gone really dry. Here's a little bit of video I shot to show you an effect of that. The trees have dropped all their leaves. It's a couple of months early. It isn't autumn for a couple of months. This is not an early autumn. This is actually a product of our recent heat wave. We've just come through the worst heat wave in a hundred years. Four or five days of temperatures well over 40 degrees Celsius, 100 Fahrenheit. I think we got way past 110 Fahrenheit a couple of days in a row for anyone interested in such things. And what's happened, the trees had so much moisture sucked out of them, they've actually had to drop their leaves to survive. Anyone who knows about deciduous trees will tell you the leaves actually use a huge amount of moisture. So just to survive, they've had to drop their leaves a couple months early. Oh, and I do want to throw in, if anyone's saying this is evidence of global warming, stop it. That's not what it is. It's arguably a byproduct of it, but it's not evidence of it. Climate change, global warming, is about long-term patterns, not about freak occurrences. This is not necessarily a freak occurrence. In fact, this is quite possibly a taste of what we're going to get much more of. Uh, but saying this is evidence of global warming is as stupid as... Well, I was about to say it's as stupid as some moron global warming denier saying cold days in winter are proof that global warming isn't real. But that's way more stupid. You're actually a major world-class moron if you've ever said that. But this uh, is quite possibly a nasty precursor of what we're going to get in the future. Much more extreme weather patterns that fucks up the natural order. So yeah, tomorrow is absurdly hot, dry, windy, and there's fuel for fire across the entire state. And there are already some fires burning. So tomorrow could be fucked. The Premier has actually listed these instructions. He's just said, stay home if you can. If you don't have to travel, don't travel. Don't drive if you don't have to drive. Don't even use public transport if you can avoid it. If you can stay at home, stay at home because there's so much that could go wrong tomorrow. You're just exacerbating the risk if you go out. So stay home. I have literally never heard that. When everything's basically fine, someone stepped up and go, yeah, tomorrow, fucking disaster waiting to happen. Don't go out. I have never had that. It is really quite freaky to just have someone tell you ahead of time tomorrow's going to be the worst day in history. Now it could all go by with no trouble but everything's in place for tomorrow to be really shite. I'm going to finish on an intimate note because I did bring up global warming, climate change in that bit of video with the leaves. Don't be putting comments saying how I'm a fool for believing it. I don't believe in global warming, I believe in science. And when every responsible scientist in the world who knows what they're talking about is on board with this, you know, I go with them. And no, save it. I don't care. I really don't fucking care if you're a denier. No, no, take your fingers off the keyboard. I don't fucking care what you think. Everything you're going to spout and say is a direct lie, okay? Either you know it's a lie and you are perpetuating the lie, or you have been taken for a fucking chump by an evil soulless liar. Shut up! No, no, no! Fingers off the keyboard! I don't care. I don't fucking care. Okay? If you are stupid enough to leave a bunch of comments about how I've been duped and it's all a scam, you're a fucking moron of the highest order. You run the fuck off and have whatever opinion you like. I don't care. 
I really, really, really don't fucking care what you think. So yeah, if you do, if you leave any sort of comment about, oh, it's a fake, it's a fake, Al Gore, he's fake, you're a fucking moron. I don't fucking care what you and your little moron fucking brain think, okay? Keep it to yourself. You have your own opinion. Good for you. It's a stupid, fucked, wrong opinion, and I don't care. I don't fucking care, okay? That is it. That is the only response I'm going to give anyone. I'm even going to the trouble of putting some links the way I normally do for some more recent information. And I know anyone who's a denier isn't going to read them. Just not, because you're not interested. You've decided and your decision has no basis in science. It's politics and you won't listen. I don't fucking care. Get it through your fucking skull. I don't fucking care. If you can't get that through your head and just keep it to yourself, if you go and start typing out, you are telling the world exactly what sort of ignorant fucked up idiot you are. You can't take a simple directive. I don't fucking care. I'm not fucking interested. There is one word, and I'm even going to link back to my other video, one thing I want to say to anyone who's still a global warming denier. Shut the fuck up.